Hi everybody, this is the Master Shader, and I'm just going to talk about a quick utility. Today is the inauguration, inauguration, the beginning of Free Software Friday. Now what Free Software Friday is, is every Friday or so I will go over a free software product and give it, give my review of it and why I think you should use it. Um, this utility I found today while I was trying to remove one of these files, it's a one of those directories that like Windows Update creates or uh, Office when you install it or Office Updates. Whenever Microsoft tries to update something, it puts all the temporary files in a folder on one of your higher drives. It's usually not on the C drive. This one happens to be on my D drive. And you just can't access it. You can't delete it. If you try to delete it, it says try again, and it won't delete. And when you go into the the thing and you go to security it says you don't have permissions and then when you go to advanced because you want to take permission owner of it it says you're the owner but you still can't control it i found the fix this is on windows 7 it's actually uh, this server is running windows 7 professional um because i don't have a copy of windows server 2003 or 2008 so uh anyways i found this utility it is called and i've got the window open in my documents right here. It's called Take Ownership. There's a link to it in the description if you would like to uh, download this. What this Take Ownership is, I don't know who programmed it. Maybe it says in uh, the file itself. All right. So this, uh, this file doesn't say who actually programmed it, but um, it's pretty cool. So if you, I've already uh, merged this with my registry. So, uh, but all you have to do to merge it is click merge, and it'll merge. It also comes with a remove, so you can remove it from a computer. But what, what it does is it adds this option to your text menu, um, take ownership. And it works on both Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit, and it works on uh, Windows XP. I tested it on today. Um, I haven't tested it on Vista because I don't use Vista, and any sane person wouldn't use Vista. Um, but if you do have Vista, it should work because it's just a registry key. It does work on Windows 7, and that's pretty much the extent to where I've tested it. Um, but it's pretty cool. So you merge it, and then you come to this folder that you can't delete because it says you can't delete it, and you can't rename it. And you right-click on it and choose Take Ownership. And it runs a little batch script, and then, miraculously, the little shields are gone, you'll notice. So it knows you have permissions, and when you click Delete, the delete file works. So, um, pretty much what that does is it runs a little utility that's already built into Windows. It just gives you a quick access to it to take ownership, regardless of your ownership, as long as you have admin rights to the computer, you will be able to take ownership of any folder, any directory, any file, anything, and access it. Um, if for some reason you can access it, but you can't remove it or whatever, you can also run this application called uh, Locker or Locking. I can't remember the name of the file, but it's, it adds another text tip right here that says, What's locking this file? And when you run it, it's Lock Hunter, is the name of the file. It's free. Um, there's a link in the description for that as well. Um, but you can also. Uh, if, if you've got like an application running, the reason I like this is because it runs both 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, I was using a program called Unlocker, but it didn't work. It's only a 32-bit program, and it doesn't work on 64-bit operating systems. So this one does. So you, if something is locking a program or a file, if a program is locking a file and you can't delete it, you can't modify it or whatever, rename it, whatever. You can use this lock hunter, and it'll it'll look at all the processes that are locking a file. This one doesn't have any, but you can either delete the file, and it removes it for you, and it tells you it's deleted. Or if you say what's locking this file, you can do choose other. You can close all the locking processes, or you can delete the locking process from the disk. So those are some other things you can do with it. But pretty much, uh, if it is locked, you can click the unlock button, which will invalidate all the handles on that file, and then you'll be able to not change the name you'll be able to move it it also unlocks the files so between lock hunter unlocking the files and this utility take ownership which uh 
actually assigns you as the owner, you have full access to your computer and all the files on it. I think anybody who owns a computer and who uh, likes to take care of their own computer would enjoy uh, having full access to their computer. So the links are in the description. Um, thank you for watching The Mass Crusaders Free Software Friday and come back next week for another review of another free software.